The north of Ethiopia is facing a humanitarian crisis driven by drought, crop failure and the aftermath of a brutal war. Local officials are warning that more than 2 million people are now at risk of starvation. BBC Verify have been examining some of the world's, uh, some of the worst affected areas rather. Here's Merlin Thomas. Here at BBC Verify, we've gained exclusive access to some of the worst affected areas in Tigray, a province with an estimated population of between 6 and 7 million. We analysed these satellite images. This is the Korea Dam and Reservoir, about 45 kilometres north of the regional capital, Mekele, in June last year. Systems like this can support more than 300 farmers. And this image is from last month. You can see the reservoir and the farmland it helps to irrigate have dried up because of the lack of rainfall. This is a satellite image of a displacement camp about 300 kilometres west of the dam by road. It was set up by UN agencies to provide shelter to more than 30,000 people. Now, dozens of these camps were set up to provide refuge and humanitarian support following the end of a bitter two-year war against the federal government and its allied forces in 2022. It's estimated that hundreds of thousands were killed in the conflict or died due to starvation and lack of health care. Now the war's over, but most have remained in these camps, reliant on food aid being delivered there. Sibet de Tikle is one of them. She looked after five of her children in the camp. Her husband was killed in the war. Have a listen here. We had animals. We used to harvest in winter. Back then, we had the best lifestyle. But now we have nothing. People are sick, and there are pregnant women who can't earn money for food. They are suffering from hunger. Aid agencies have mapped the scale of the crisis facing Ethiopia based on a range of factors, including failed rains, ongoing insecurity, and a lack of access for aid distributions. This map here shows data from the Famine Early Warning Systems Network. It has identified parts of Tigray that you can see here in dark red, as well as neighboring regions that Amhara and Afhar as facing an emergency. However, the federal government in the Ethiopian capital Addis Ababa disputed these warnings. The head of Ethiopia's National Disaster Risk Management Commission told us that based on official assessments, there are no looming dangers of famine and starvation in Tigray or elsewhere in Ethiopia. The relationship between the Ethiopian government and aid agencies have been strained in recent years. The UN alleged that food aid was being blocked from reaching Tigray during the conflict. And in February, Ethiopia's ombudsman said nearly 400 people died from hunger in the country, including Tigray. However, Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed dismissed these reports and told lawmakers at the time there are no people dying due to hunger in Ethiopia. Professor Alex DeWall, an expert in the region and an executive director of the World Peace Foundation, says too little attention is being paid to the crisis. Humanitarian agencies have become averse to controversy. In their funding appeals, they are less likely to draw attention to the fact that starvation is a crime, that famines are inflicted by ruthless governments. The UN body that coordinates humanitarian assistance says the funding currently available is insufficient, but that resources are channeled to the most urgent, life-saving response. If you'd like to read more about the story, head to the BBC News website.